alien invasive species are having a negative impact on South Africa's environment. The numbers seem to be growing by the day, and so is the damage they're causing. The polyphagous shuttle borer beetle may be a native to Southeast Asia, but in Cape Town it's wreaking havoc on the city's trees. It's just one of many species, including freshwater fish, crustaceans, shellfish and snails that are having an impact on the environment in a negative way. The impacts of invasive species have been really profound. In South Africa, it's a water scarce country, water scarce region, and there have been impacts, for example, of many invasive plants, which have further stressed the water availability um, in regions such as the Western Cape. There's also a variety of invasive insects which are causing impacts to agriculture, which could accrue uh, large costs in the future and affect um, sustainable livelihoods. Once invasive species become naturalized, they dominate the local environment, taking valuable resources such as food and water away from indigenous ones. Some invasive species such as the Pacific oyster have however had positive economic benefits through aquaculture activities along the west coast. While the spread of invasive species within the marine ecosystem is difficult to contain, it is their impact within the freshwater environment that really concerns officials. Species such as the Australian red claw crawfish, the American largemouth bass and the now tilapia have the potential to make a significant negative impact. And there are many more invasive species of plants and animals that are difficult to contain, including those found in the ecologically sensitive Kruger National Park. Of the 2,033 alien species recorded uh, outside of cult cultivation or captivity in South Africa, 775 of those are known to be invasive. Uh, and uh, a further 388 are known to be naturalized, but not invasive. And 355 are present, uh, but not, not nat naturalized. What that means is that about one third of the alien species found outside of captivity or cultivation in the country are known to have become invasive in the, in the country. For now, the alien invasive species are negatively affecting the environment and the economy, costing taxpayers millions to monitor and clear infested areas. Travis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.